Poverty and lack of opportunity are colorblind, just like the solution to both of them, capitalism and free speech. Today, Camp London is not open to anyone who wishes to tell the truth about Islam. People like Brittany Pettibone, Martin Thelner and Lauren Southern are all banned from entering the UK. Look what we've got here today. Thousands of honest, decent, patriotic people who don't need a bodyguard, or not exactly a bodyguard, they don't need to be police. And what have you got down that end? You've got the masked, cowardly thugs who want to stop you asserting your right to free speech. When they write about this outburst, this supposed outburst of abuse and harassment on the internet, sexism in the workplace and in universities, it's all fucking women doing it! It's other girls, they, they forget to mention that. I don't see Twitter banning people for lambasting Jehovah, Moses, or anyone else. But you say one bad word about Mohammed, and they sit you on the naughty step for seven days, then 30 days, and then they deactivate your account for life. Because, as Kanye West recently pointed out, they choose their chains. They need the safety of oppression, the abdication of moral choice and the consequences thereof. If something terrible happens, what do they say? That wasn't real Islam. That wasn't real communism. They choose their chains because they are weak. Run and you will live. But what would you give to come back to this day and fight? What separates us from the rest of the other species? We talk to each other. We go, hey, cave friend, don't go near a saber-toothed tiger. It will eat you. And then that caveman goes, thanks for the story, pal. Mental note. Giant cats with huge fangs are bad news. We keep evolving. And now we're devolving with these new rules where we can't say certain things, we can't offend people. It's not just un-American or un-British or un-Scottish or Canadian, it's inhuman! In the aftermath of what happened, I've decided to keep fighting to protect free speech because after seeing my mother repeatedly crying at the fact that her son could get sent to prison just because he hurt some people's feelings, that was more than enough for me to want to make sure that what happened to me doesn't happen to anyone else. And because I want to protect free speech, I have been branded a racist, a Nazi and a white supremacist. And that I am part of the alt-right. To set the record straight, I reject any notion of superiority or inferiority based on race. I reject the idea of an ethno-state. If you want to live here in peace and not only respect the freedom of others, but fight to protect the freedom of others, then you are welcome in this country. Well, our towns and cities are lawless. Telford, Rochdale, Rotherham, Oxford, Newcastle, Manchester, Glasgow, the list goes on and on. And we're here today to demand a national inquiry into what is happening with these grooming towns and what is happening to the millions of children being raped in this country by racists. Racists. Stand up here and cry in a minute. We're being lied to 
we've been deceived. When you go back through British history, you go back through British world leader, British leaders, you go back through our clergy, our military leaders, our politicians, Sir William Gladstone, Winston Churchill, they always told the truth about Islam. The truth that Islam is a warlike, a warlike religion. It is fascist, it is violent. Never before have people been deceived so bad. We have let an ideology into our country to gain control of towns and cities, to infiltrate our government, to run as mayors in our capital city. All under the guise and the lie. They're taking our children to mosques. They're in the, in the education system. They're lying. And when it turns, because it will turn, it will turn in Europe, it will turn in England, and when it turns, it will turn so quick that everyone will start speaking openly and honestly. Everyone will identify the problem with it. With some not skinny jean, tampon wearing, brigade of wet wipes, the pull the victim card to keep you quiet every single time the debate doesn't go their way.